Hello there, this is Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky in Space. And today I am here to introduce you guys to some really awesome buddy readers. This video was actually inspired by my friend Naomi from Naomi's Bookshelf who recently put out a video that was like, come buddy read with me or like buddy reads I'd like to do or something like that. And I was like, you know what? I should just see if there are some other YouTubers who really want to just find some buddy readers. I would have loved to find a video like this when I was just joining booktube. I really just wanted some people to come read books with me. I wanted to join a book club, but I couldn't do it physically. So I just wanted to join one digitally. And these booktubers that you'll be seeing in like two seconds would like to read with you guys, depending on what your reading tastes are, etc. So I have a few booktubers here. You can choose from among them. I hope that you find one that will fit you. I can vouch for them. They're lovely ladies. Please check them out. I will have them all linked down below. They're gonna tell you about the kinds of things that they like to read and stuff like that. I'm just gonna let them tell you about themselves. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Danny here. My channel name is Spinelli Speaks. And if you are new to me, what you should know is I am a huge thrifter. So all of my books come from thrift stores little free libraries, library sales, and occasionally I do have to go on Amazon. That said, I read just about everything. I read classics, I read middle grade, I read fiction, I read nonfiction, I read YA. It's across the board. So when it comes to buddy reading, it's about the same. I read just about anything. And let me tell you, doing it as a buddy read makes the book so much better because things that you may see your buddy read might not and vice versa. So when it comes to buddy reading, the one tip I would say is go for it. Just find someone who is willing to read with you and is interested in the same kind of things as you or not and go for it. You can ask me or anyone here. We would love to reach out to you and chat about books because quite frankly, what else is there to chat about? Well, thank you so much, Christy, for including me and I hope you all are having a wonderful day, taking care and staying safe. Bye now! Hi, I'm Tiffany and my channel name is Beautiful Minutia. I am a newer booktuber, but I absolutely love buddy reading and being able to chat books with people. The books that I primarily read are probably classics and middle grade, but I do read like a little bit of everything. Those are probably just two of my most read genres. So there are a few books that I'm hoping to get to this year that I would love to buddy read. So if you're interested in buddy reading any of these, just let me know. So I would really love to read The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy. Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. This is like one of the only Jane Austens that I have not previously read. Lord Edgeware Dies by Agatha Christie. This is a Poirot mystery, I believe. The Endless Step. This is a story of a girl whose family gets sent to the Russian Gulag during World War II. The Picture of Dorian Gray. I kind of can't believe I have not read this one. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. She's the only Bronte sister I haven't read. And lastly, The Chunker, Les Miserables. I know that one's kind of a scarier one. <laughs> so if you would like to read any of these books with me, please let me know. Hi, my name is Stephanie and my channel is Miss Richards Reads. So my top three genres that I love to read are fantasy, classics, and cozy mysteries. And this year, two of my goals are to read more translated works as well as reduce my physical TBR because it's out of hand. So I have three books here that I would love to buddy read. The first is The Wolf and the Whale by Jordana Max Brodsky. Next is Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier. And finally, I'm trying to get through all of Charles Dickens' works. I've only read a few, but I'd like to start at the beginning and read them all chronologically. So I'd love to read The Pickwick Papers. So I'm really excited to buddy read with you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Angie from Literary Labors. Before I get into the titles that I have selected for my portion of this video, I wanted to first say a huge thank you to Christy for allowing me to be a part of this collaboration. Thank you so much, Christy. I really appreciate it. And as for 
Um, the genre genres that I prefer to read, I will read just about anything as long as it sounds interesting. Um, I don't read much literary fiction and um, I don't read very many books that are heart-wrenching or depressing. I do prefer to read um, as an escape, so I like my books to be uh, light-hearted and fun, although I do occasionally read uh, heart-wrenching and depressing books, but not very often. Anyways, I think I have a variety of genres here in my stack of books, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into them. So I'm going to start off with a classic that I'd like to buddy read, and that is Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. Then I'm going to move into the horror genre just a little. Some people might argue that this is not really horror, but that is Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. I read this book once, probably either in the late 90s or early 2000s, and I think it's about time for a uh, reread. So anyways, this is Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. I also have on my list The Egg and I by Betty McDonald. This is uh, the same author who wrote the Mrs. Piggle Wiggle. Piggle Wiggle? Mrs. Piggly Wiggly. Piggle Wiggle. I've only read one book in that series. Anyway, so this is her memoir, I believe, about uh, living with her family in the country. Then I have Pomegranate Soup by Marsha Marin. Um, I'm not sure what this would be classified as. Maybe women's fiction? New adult fiction? I think probably women's fiction. Then I have a romance with um, a time travel element, and that is The Rose Garden by Susanna Kearsley. I've not read anything by her, but I'm very um, interested in her books. The next book I have on my list is Christian Fiction, and that is The Road to Paradise by Karen Bennett. This is book one in the Vintage National Parks novel. This is one of the books that I have just recently acquired. And then I have The Marriage Bureau for Rich People by Farahad Zama. And finally, I have Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. Uh, hello, my name is Dri. It's Dri, technically. I'm from the Chino Dry Books. Um, the reason why that is with Dry and Audrey is very long and complicated. I'm not going to get into it. Um, so Christy has asked me, uh, invited me to talk about buddy reads and what it would like to be buddy reading with people. Thank you. Uh, so I like reading fantasy. I like reading historical fiction. I like reading a lot, like some sci-fi, not a lot because I don't actually understand the sci-fi genre all that much. Um, but, but I do like it. I, I actually would like to get into it a little bit more. So I, I can read literary fiction, but I'm not like the, the last literary fiction book I read was The Nine Husbands of Beverly Hugo. The nine, the seven, the seven husbands. I gave her two more husbands, sorry. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I would like to be ready reading um, if anybody wants to read The Red Sister with me because by Mark Lawrence, because I wanted, I've been wanting to read that book for a while and I tried once, it didn't work. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I, I'm about to read book two on the first Law trilogy before they are hanged. So if anybody wants to join me for that, it'd be great. <laughs> and I want to read Legendborn and These Violent Delights, which are two YA new releases that I want to kind of get into this year. Um, so if anybody wants to join for that, I'd be very pleased to join you. Thank you so much for asking me, Christy, and I'll see you later. Hi, I'm Catherine, and my channel is Taking Tea with Catherine. I like to read classic novels. I like to read history and historical fiction. I like to read mysteries, nature writing etc. And here are four books that I would not mind buddy reading. This is Walden by Henry David Thoreau. I actually did start this a while back and then for some reason discontinued, so I'd like to get back to it. I also have Stendhal, I believe that's how you pronounce it, The Red and the Black, which I've heard good things about. Jerome K. Jerome, Three Men in a Boat. I have heard this is a very funny novel and I could use a laugh. Last but not least, Pachinko by Min Jin Lee, which I believe is an historical novel, which I can get behind. So <laughs> that is just four of the many books that I would like to read soon and wouldn't mind reading as a buddy read. That's all. Take care. Hi, 
I'm Chelsea and my booktube channel and my bookstagram account are both Voyage of a Time Wanderer. I enjoy reading a wide variety of books including historical fiction, classics, particularly 19th century literature, mystery, African literature, and theological nonfiction. I find buddy reading is especially fun for bigger books or classics that take longer to get through and having someone or a group of people that you're reading alongside with provides encouragement and insights along the way. So a couple of the books that I would be particularly interested in reading with someone through to the end of the year include Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, which I've been meaning to get to forever and I don't know if there's anyone else left in the world that hasn't read it yet, but I would love to read it alongside someone if there is. Barchester Towers by Anthony Trollope, the second book in the Barchester series. Tsitsi Dengarembe's uh, Coming of Age trilogy set in Zimbabwe, which starts with Nervous Conditions, uh, and then the most recent installment is This Mournable Body, which won a number of awards last year. Either London or Paris by Edward Rutherford, or Vancouver uh, by David Cruz and Alison Griffiths. All three of these are giant books that are focused more on uh, telling the story of a specific city through time rather than focusing on a character. So they're multi-generational historical epics. And then lastly, Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie, which I'm hoping to get to before the release of the movie in 2022. So if you're interested in reading any of these titles with me, or you have a book that matches some of my favorite genres that you think I would really enjoy, or you see a book that interests you in one of my monthly TBR videos, please feel free to reach out via a message on Instagram or a comment on my YouTube channel, and I would love to buddy read with you. Thanks to Christy for hosting this collaborative video, and until next time, enjoy wandering through the pages of a good book.